guys if you can observe i am just sharing with you guys how you guys can become independent okay how you guys can learn french language without any external help comment apporter une précision en français bah vous pouvez utiliser des phrases comme j'ai oublié de vous dire que j'ai oublié de vous dire que namaste guys so uh, today we'll be learning in french language Uh, a lot of things okay but before that i'm thankful to you all for sub- for your subscription and all thank you for uh, 700 plus subscribers if you want to learn french language here is my telegram id you can contact me here all right so today we will be learning just a second let me just share that slide with you yeah this one so uh, today we'll be uh, reading this document we'll be reading this document let me just uh, yeah so just a second hmm so we'll be reading this document i'm not wasting your time in like you know discussing all these minor things but here our main concern is about learning ambitions okay ambition means how you can talk about your ambitions and intentions and last but not least conditional also okay so before starting if you do not know what is conditional in french language there is a video in the i button and i'll leave the uh, link of the video in the description also all right so let's start uh so here is sandri okay bonjour je suis professeur des écoles en bretagne et j'ai un stage de partir au québec avec ma famille now <clears throat> on faisons un échange uh, post à post now let's let's uh analyze whatever she has said till now okay so the very first thing is jean vistage de partir au quebec jean vistage de partir au quebec avec ma famille now for those people suppose uh, your level is a2 level all right you do not know what is envisager envisager so there is this wonderful website uh, wordreference.com this uh, video is not uh, a paid video all right i'm using this website since 2012 2013 all right so the meaning of the word envisager is considerer contemplate consider okay il faut envisager toutes les solutions possibles all the uh, all possible solutions have to be contemplated all right so whenever you face any issue concerning um, any word you can refer to any online dictionary but please 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 do not uh, refer to uh, online translate uh, translation applications all right so now let's see so you know <clears throat> there are two things like she also could have said je va ale o kebe kabe avec ma famille but no whenever we say things like je va ale specifically this ale verb this is very a1 level all right so i hope now the idea for you guys is a bit clear okay so this is how you can talk about your ambition your intention all right Je souhaiterais avoir des avis de personnes qui ont vécu cette expérience. Non, je souhaiterais avoir. Je souhaiterais avoir des avis. Now, another line is this. This is how you can uh, talk about your intentions, ambitions. All right. Uh, I would, uh, I would wish to. I would wish to. All right. Because you know these things show politeness. All right. Now. Cette, for, uh, cette formule est assez nouvelle et il est difficile de trouver des retours d'expérience. Comment faire? Qu'est-ce que vous me conseillez de faire? Non, it's very simple. So we have two structures. J'envisage de partir au Québec avec ma famille. Je souhaiterais avoir des amis. Non, wait, wait, pause this video and write at least two to three sentences with j'envisage de Jean Visage de concerning your uh, future plans all right concerning your intentions your ambition etc and write in the comment section two or three sentences i'll personally correct those sentences all right now let's come to uh, what etienne wants to say bonsoir effectivement uh, c'est une formule récente elle consiste à échanger now observe this one elle consiste à échanger son poste pour un an avec un homologue québécois on échange également les, do- les domiciles et les véhicules 
vous, trou vous trouverez plus d'informations ici. Now, what is important is, elle consiste à échanger son post. All right. So, how to use this kind of thing is a bit tricky. All right. Now, if you want to say, you know, uh, things like uh, these, 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 these things are available in this forum or uh, in this post. So, instead of uh, going with a uh, very, um, you know, A1, A2 uh, kind of uh, vocabulary, you can also use elle consiste à échanger son post. Elle consiste à. Elle consiste à. All right. So, these kind of things will help you guys, you know, to score good marks. Now, let's suppose we don't know what is consiste. Consiste. Okay. Consiste. Now, à. Oh, wait. À. Ah. No, it won't show. Okay. Consiste. Now let's see. Consiste en. Consiste à faire. Consiste à faire. So always remember there are two things. One, let me just show you guys. Consiste verb follows two prepositions. Consiste à and consiste en. All right. So always remember that, you know, never say uh, things like consiste consiste the okay if it's not available here it means that consiste the doesn't exist if you will write consiste the you might end you will end up losing marks in your tef tcf uh, tel tals exams all right so what you can always use is consiste a and consiste on but now consiste on means elle compose the quelque chose for for example l'appartement consiste en une chambre une cuisine une cuisine et une salle de bain means comprise all right the apartment comprises a bedroom kitchen and bathroom guys if you can observe i'm just sharing with you guys how you guys can become independent okay how you guys can learn french language without any external help so uh, this is exactly what you need to do all right because a lot of students approach me so uh, sir uh, how uh, i cannot afford a nuance français and all uh, so how i can learn french language this is how you can learn French language. All right. Now, even th this is the trick I, I share with, uh, you know, even with the students of uh, C2 level, C1 and C2 level also. All right. Now, let's move forward. Again, make one, uh, make two sentences with consiste a, consiste a. Okay. Two sentences in the comment section. I'll personally correct. Okay. Now, bonjour. Uh, this is Tali. Je suis professeur des écoles à Montréal et j'ai l'intention d'échanger. Now, here it is. J'ai l'intention de. So here the structure is avoir l'intention de. Okay. Uh, d'échanger mon poste avec un une collègue uh, en France. J'enseigne dans le primaire depuis une vingtaine d'années. Une vingtaine d'années et j'ai envie de découvrir. J'ai envie de découvrir un système éducatif euh, différent. Tali. Now, there are two sentences. Avoir l'intention de and avoir envie de. All right. Now, these are two different sentences and I want you guys to make two, two, two sentences with these two uh, lines or phrases or structures. All right. Now, Aurélie. So Aurélie is saying, Bonjour Thali. So she is responding to Thali. Je suis professeur des écoles à Saint-Junien, uh, près de Limoges. J'aimerais partir. J'aimerais partir. Again, you know, it's desire kind of a thing. All right. Desire, intention, ambition. J'aimerais partir enseigner au Québec. Ça me plairait, euh, plaire, euh, plairait vraiment d'avoir une nouvelle vision de mon métier. Ça me plairait vraiment de... OK. This one is also important. Être toujours motivé pour venir en France. Pourrait-on euh, échanger par message privé? Aurélie. Now, so here, today, in this video, we have learned, you know, one, two, three, uh, 
four, five, and six structures. Now, I want you guys, you see, there are six structures. I want you guys to make two, two sentences with each total 12, 12 sentences in the comment section. And I'll correct, I'll, I'll try, see guys, uh, the positive thing is that, you know, we are only 700 people right now. Please, uh, please write in the comment section. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll correct your sentences in case if you guys are, uh, you know, facing some issues. Uh, otherwise, uh, these are not very tough sentences. All right. Now, now basically, you know, uh, this is how you can use such things. Uh, now, just a second. Now, let me share with you another slide. So, for example, here, in case, in case if you want to, uh, Comment apporter une précision en français? Comment apporter une précision en français? Bah, vous pouvez utiliser des phrases comme j'ai oublié de vous dire que. J'ai oublié de vous dire que. I hope the idea is clear. Uh, because there are a lot of students who say, sir, you should teach only in French language. So I'll be, um, I'll be covering this part only in French language. All right. Uh, comment demander uh, une Confirmation d'une euh, information. Bah, vous pouvez utiliser des phrases telles que euh, vous êtes sûr que, vous êtes sûr que, et puis euh, vous pouvez poser une question. Vous êtes sûr que euh, M. Pankaj n'est pas malade. OK. <coughs> Now, euh, confirmer une information. Comment vous pouvez confirmer quelques nouvelles, quelques, quelques informations, etc. Alors, vous pouvez dire certaines. Oui, tout à fait. OK. Certaines, oui, tout à fait. Euh, OK. Euh, comment vous pouvez rassurer, rassurer quelqu'un? Euh, OK. Ne, ne, vous, euh, ne vous inquiétez pas. Euh, bah, si, euh, il faut utiliser, euh, ne vous inquiétez pas si la, si la relation est formelle. Euh, sinon, euh, et, euh, sinon, vous pouvez utiliser, ne vous en faites pas. OK. Ne vous en faites pas. OK. Non. Non, 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 non. Euh, sinon, tu peux, euh, vous pouvez utiliser euh, euh, dans un contexte informel, informel, euh, vous pouvez euh, dire euh, t'inquiète pas, t'inquiète pas, ou bien ne t'inquiète pas. Je suis vraiment désolé pour, euh, pour, euh, pour une telle faute. <rire> Je suis vraiment désolé. OK. Euh, formuler une demande polie. OK. Pourriez-vous, pourriez-vous, pourriez-vous m'aider, s'il vous plaît? OK. Euh, je voulais vous demander quelque chose. Euh, OK. Je, je voulais vous demander quelque chose. OK. Rappelez, rappelez quelque chose à quelqu'un. Comment vous pouvez rappeler quelque chose à quelqu'un? Par exemple, euh, n'oubliez pas qu'il n'y a pas de transport en commun. OK. I don't know how much you guys understood, but most of you guys asked me to, you know, teach you guys in uh, English language also. So, in French language also. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. It's been almost 20 days that I have made any video. So there were some issues. Okay. So I'll not repeat those mistakes. Uh, otherwise, just make those sentences, make, make sentences, and you can use these vocabulary, these, uh, you know, these ready made sentences in your TCF, F, DELF B1, DELF A2, DELF B1, DELF A2 also. All right. Uh, in your Dell B1 A2 exams, uh, and these sentences will going to give a good impression also. All right. So, and for those people who do not understand English language, I will uh, French language. I just want to tell you the meaning. It's like you know, I forgot to tell you that. And then, vous êtes sûr que? Are you sure that? Certain? Oui, tout à fait. This, uh, it means, yeah, sure, uh, it's kind of 100% kind of thing. All right. Ne vous inquiétez pas. Do not worry too much or do not worry. All right. The, uh, the inf informal ho jayega. The informal would be, ne t'inquiet pas. <laughs> ne t'inquiet pas. I made the mistake when I was uh, talking in French language. All right. Uh, if you, uh, demande poli. Okay. Pourriez-vous? You know, uh, guys, uh, there are two ways. There are two ways. One is, you know, very general. In case if you want to ask for some information, all right, there are always two things. One is very general thing. Another one is very, you know, 
polite with uh, etiquettes so this is you know polite could you could you please could you all right je vole vous demande i would um, I, uh, you know politely i would like to uh, ask you some info uh, i would like to ask uh, ask you a question je vole vous demande all right these kind of things uh, this is not these are not the uh, the exact translations but see guys i want you guys to become independent try your best all right uh, rapidly kal ke shows a kal kya no oublie pas qu'il n'y a pas de transform do not forget that kind of a sense is there in this one in this one the main part is ah just a second in this one the main part is hmm oublie pas que use oublie pas que and after que you can use whatever you want to all right so that's it from my side uh, i hope the video was helpful for you guys please 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 make two two sentences with the, those uh, six structures i gave you uh, i gave you so that's it from my side if you guys have any doubts any complaints please um, please uh, inform me all right thank you for being so polite thank you for subscription thank you namaste